What is up everybody? My name is Nalo and welcome back to Investment Odyssey. So this is season two of Investment Odyssey. It's basically going to be called Investment Odyssey Returns because it's kind of like a play on how you make returns from investments. I thought that was kind of clever. I don't know if it came through. That's going to be the title for this series. If you have not seen season one, I highly recommend checking it out using the card on screen right now. And you can actually watch me go through the motions if you don't want to wait for episode releases for season two. With that out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and go over the rules for this series and I'm going to talk about a sponsor and then we're going to go ahead and get into the meat of it. So right now, I don't know exactly how much I'm going to put in and how much I'm going to go for, but at the current moment, it's going to be a $500 initial investment and a $1,500 return. So basically, we're going to have to make three times on our investments, which is more than was required in the first season, so that should hopefully make things interesting with essentially just a smaller budget. I'm going to stick with the rule of putting in $50 to $100 per episode, so if the market's not doing so good, we're going to put in $50, and if the market's doing better, we're going to be able to put in more, so that's going to be between $50 and $100 invested per episode until we get to our $500 goal, which from that point, we're going to have to either sell off investments and buy better ones or whatever actually ends up happening at that point to get to our full goal. All of this is going to be tracked in a spreadsheet, which I will be showing you at the end of this episode. The sponsor for today's video is vloot.io. They're a gracious sponsor and they're owned by my manager. They're a great site to go to if you want to enter a whole bunch of free giveaways for Steam games and for items in CSGO. They have a whole ton of different giveaways to enter. They're all free and they have a ton of different ways to enter the giveaways so you can actually get a lot of entries into each of them and actually have a pretty good chance of winning. So if you want to go ahead and find a nice conglomerated giveaway site to go ahead and enter a whole bunch of legitimate giveaways, you can go ahead and do that using the link in the description below. Thanks. And now we move on to actually investing and building up a portfolio going into this new future market. So the really good thing about the timing of this series is that a lot of stuff has already normalized and pulled back from a huge manipulation spree, and so a lot of stuff is super cheap right now, and we're probably just going to see returns because the items are just in such a huge dip right now, and really they can only go up. So a really good time for this challenge to be attempted, I would say. Also, we're going to be using buff for every purchase in the series because buff has a larger market share than Steam right now in terms of how many skins are on the website, and it also has a lot cheaper prices than Steam, so there's really no reason not to use buff. So yeah, on buff currently I have around 320 RMB, which is equivalent to about 50 US dollars. So let's get into the investing. As you can see, buff has a wide variety of skins. It's always going to be updated with the newest stuff and the prices are going to be way cheaper than Steam. So, so it's really a no brainer. So here's buff's marketplace page and let's go ahead and go look at the first investment, which is going to be one I've been talking about for a super long time now, which is the Data Toss Cologne 2016 Hollow. So here's the selection of the stickers. We're going to be looking at the Cologne 2016 Hollow because that's the one that still hasn't really been manipulated like crazy and still has a good chance of getting manipulated into August if there is a second wave of manipulation. And again, if you want more information on this, I've been making a bunch of videos on it, so you can go ahead and watch the more recent ones. If we look at the graph here, we can see that it's been on a nice little decline, nice little dip here for us to buy on, which means we can get it pretty cheap. And I do think we're going to be able to make a return just because the item has dipped so far. I'm expecting to make about double on this, but it could even be more. It's currently valued at around 185 RMB. By the way, all the USD prices are going to be shown in the spreadsheet at the end of the video. So if you're curious the prices of these in USD, it's going to be on on that spreadsheet. Anyway, we're going to start off our portfolio by buying this 185 RMB at Dignitas Cologne 2016 Hollow. Aside from the whole manipulation thing, there's a lot of reasons why the sticker is good on its own. It does look really nice. It's going to fit really nicely on a gun. It has a really nice logo. A lot of people are really into that Dignitas alien logo. And of course, it has a nice yellow color, which is pretty rare to find in stickers. And it goes on a few niche crafts like the AK Fuel Injector. Now, the next thing I wanted to look into was going to be a skin because I want to actually have a decent amount of skins in this inventory because I know people like investing in skins rather than just stickers and stuff like that. I particularly wanted to look at the Desert Eagle Night Heist because it's a Desert Eagle. It's from the Broken Fang collection and it actually had a pretty good price trend after Broken Fang ended, but it has pulled back a bit as well, just like the rest of the stuff on the market. After checking out some of the more specific specifications of the item though and the price trend on buff, it did look like it was at a pretty good time to buy it. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase this as a skin to add to the portfolio. Now, obviously there are wait times on buff because people have to actually deliver the items, but we have purchased these and they are on their way. The Desert Eagle Night Heist is a nice low-key deagle. It has a pretty cool design on it that kind of references night heists. And of course, it's from the Broken Fang collection, which means it's a lot rarer now and it is unobtainable for the future from some sort of a collection. It also happens to be from the Havoc collection, which is also really good because the only collection that's currently at risk of being turned into souvenirs is the Ancient collection. So in terms of a sort of budget skin investing option, this does seem like a really good one. Next, I wanted to look into a more low-key sticker that would probably 
also see some sort of a spike during a second manipulation wave that is focused on stickers, and for that I wanted to look at Atlanta 2017 and Boston 2018. But after looking through some of the prices, the best option came from Boston 2018, which was the Space Soldiers Hollow. Now this is a really cool sticker because again it's yellow and it can go on some of those niche crafts like the AK Fuel Injector, which not a lot of stickers can do. It was also pretty cheap at only around $10 on Steam. And the only other thing that I could really consider better would be like the G2 Hollow from Boston 2018, but that one doesn't really have a whole ton of potential compared to the Space Soldiers Hollow because the Space Soldiers Hollow has a lot more craftability. So for those reasons we went ahead and purchased one up off of Buff. At this point we were sitting at about 36 RMB in our balance, so there was really only one other thing that I wanted to buy into, which was going to be RMR 2020. Now I think that RMR 2020 did also pull back a bit after reaching some of its peaks, but I do think there's going to be a longer term gain for these stickers, and I think over the course of this investment odyssey, there is going to be enough time for them to reach a pretty good price. So I decided to go ahead and look into RMR Golds because those are going to be the best option to invest in, as I said in my previous RMR video. So we're going to go ahead and look at the Spirit RMR Gold, which I think has a very good design. It of course is an RMR Gold, which puts it in that good category for investments, and of course it's from a team that a lot of people tend to like. And who knows, they could also perform pretty well in the future, which could also cause them to go up in price as well. So we went ahead and purchased up a Spirit RMR Gold to add to the collection and finalize the investments for this episode. That leaves us at about 10 RMB left in our balance, which means that we're going to use that for the next episode when we add on another 50 or $100, depending on how the market's doing. By the editing time of this video, this is all we have right now that's actually been delivered to our Steam inventory, but the rest of the stuff will be delivered over time and added into the investment Odyssey storage box, which we have now reopened for this series. We're now going to take a look at our current spreadsheet and talk about what the spreadsheet looks like and how it's kind of organized. So this is what the spreadsheet looks like. It's of course pretty long right now because we don't have a whole ton of investments actually added into it. I'm tracking the RMB and the USD prices of everything in terms of their buy price and their sell price and their profit. If you're curious about the USD prices of everything, you can see them right here on the spreadsheet right now. The only other thing to talk about is these sections right here, which is the current price and the current profit, which will be tracked every single episode and will update every single episode in the current profit, obviously automatically updates for, for the calculation of the current price minus the buy price. We also have the two extra sections on the side there, which is basically just going to be the profit period, which can be two weeks or one week, depending on when episodes actually come out. So as you can see, the first period and the second period are ready to be filled in for the next episode of Investment Odyssey Season 2. But yeah, guys, that's what the spreadsheet looks like. There was a lot of problems with auto-updating spreadsheets and not being able to actually connect to the web and the web API of different websites that was going to be used for their auto-updating prices. And furthermore, it's of course harder to get the buff prices to automatically update, so we're not going to focus on getting automatically updating prices. We're just going to do it manually like we did last season because that worked out pretty well. However, if a mystical solution does present itself along the way as it tried to the last season, then we can definitely switch over the spreadsheet. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed looking into the investments that I made for the first episode of Investment Odyssey Returns, and hopefully our portfolio can grow in both in value and in size over the next few episodes, and hopefully the market actually does kind of return to a normal state so we can start making some really nice profits and getting towards our goal of 1500 USD at the current moment. Anyway, guys, again, hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you enjoyed the rest of the series, and hopefully you're ready for quite a lot of uploads this coming month. If you guys want to go ahead and check out the sponsor, vlu.io, for all those nice free giveaways, that link's going to be in the description below. And of course, you can check out my Discord server if you want to discuss the series and the investments I made, and also if you want to discuss general CSGO investing, as the market is pretty crazy right now. And of course, you can also check out my Twitter if you want to go ahead and get some more constant updates on what's going on with the series and with my life. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for all the greatest and fastest investment tips anywhere else on YouTube, and also be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. See you guys next time. Peace.